As of January of 2018, it'll be 20 years since I first came to Australia and taught my first class in Australia. And I've been doing this for about 30 years. And so a lot of things have changed, but you know the interesting thing is the more things change, the more they remain the same. So science is still the same. It's not any different today than it was 30 or 50 years ago. The logistics of putting it in place, specifically here in Australia, is different, yes, than maybe the logistics of applying and putting it to place in New Zealand or the United States or China or wherever else you may choose. But the interesting thing that I found is that just because I flew south of the equator, science didn't change. And part of the problem we have in agriculture, in medicine as well, is that people don't want to listen or believe the science because that's not political. And the point is, is that we need to grow more food of better quality. And what does quality mean? Quality means higher nutrition. That is the only thing it means. You're growing food to consume. And the only reason fundamentally we consume food is for nutrition. Now, I realize some people do it socially as well. It's just to fill their belly. But the reality is we consume food for nutrition. And that nutrition is to drive our body. We need to do it more efficiently. And efficiency really has to do with cost per unit of production. So it's not how much you produce. The most important thing is what is your profit per unit of production? Research has been done to show that agriculture has the capacity to sequester within 10 years all of the excess carbon dioxide in the environment. We're not talking about theory. We're not talking about pie in the sky. We're talking about this is being done. The higher the bricks, the higher the profitability per hectare. So farmers are really the most important physicians on the planet, potentially. Unfortunately, agriculture farmers around the world have dropped the ball when it comes to that. They've abdicated that recognition that what they're producing is food for people. Burger King and KFC and McDonald's and Domino's Pizza and all of that junk. That's exactly what it is. And people want to snicker about that, but guess what? Diabetes, heart disease, those are not real things to be snickering about. People die, suffer a lot from those kinds of things. And those are the big drivers of those diseases.